up guys, it's Patriots Man here and I am back with another video. Today's video will be a kind of short video, but we are going to be talking about the new rookies that are in the game, as today is the second and third round of the draft, but as you guys know, they only put the top 10 picks this year into the draft instead of the entire first round from yesterday. So we're going to kind of go ahead and just look at the top 10 picks, kind of how you can get them, what has changed about the promo um, in the trades a little bit, and kind of help you understand what the stuff means. So pick two through five, you guys will see they have them in the rewards, so we can kind of go through all of them. So pick number two was the de defensive end, Aiden Hutchinson. So picks two through five are iconic elite, like we originally had said. So Aiden Hutchinson for the Lions, right there you see his stats. Now pick number three was Derek Stingley Jr. a corner from LSU. The Texans drafted him with the third overall pick. So those two are both 490 overall base. Then your picks four and five, you have the Jets who chose Sauce Gardner. He is a corner. And then um, Kevon Thibodeau, I believe that's how you say it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But the Giants selected him with the fifth overall pick and he is a defensive end. So all these guys will be in the pick two through five. And as you guys see here, you're no longer building the pick collectible. If you already have the pick collectible, you go ahead, you just put it in the pick, and you go ahead and claim your player. Now, if you don't have the collectible, of course, you can still put in your six uh, 300 overalls, and it will still count the same exact way. You are just not turning in your pick collectible. You're just going straight in and putting in the players instead of getting the collectible first. So there's that right there, and that's kind of how it's gonna work for the pick, the other picks, the six through eight, and the nine through 10. You will no longer get the collectibles, you will just get the players the badges and you'll just put those straight in instead of going for the pick two through five collectible uh, and all the others. Now six through eight, they have the picks right here. And if I can, if I can remember who went when, um, I believe it was the offensive tackle. The Panthers chose him sixth overall. Uh, Akeem Ikwanu, 465 overall right there. Then the seventh overall pick, I believe, was Evan Neal for the Giants. So he's a 465 overall offensive tackle. And then finally, the eighth pick for the for the Falcons is going to be Drake London, 465 overall wide receiver. So basically, you'll get a select of these three players in the 6 through 8 pack. And as you guys see over in the trade, it's going to work the same exact way. You either put in the gem that you had before, or you put in the four 300 overalls in the 20 badges. So basically, the gem is really only there in the trade for if you did it before. Otherwise, it's, very, it's the same exact requirements, except now you guys actually know who the players are. Now finally you guys have the picks 9 through 10, so these were the final two players that were drafted. And of course for pick number 9 we had Charles Cross for the Seahawks, he's a 460 overall offensive tackle. And finally the 10th overall pick in the draft was drafted by the Jets, Garrett Wilson a 460 overall wide receiver. So once again those guys, you'll go to the picks 9 through 10 set, you'll get a select of the two by putting in either the 9 through 10 gem, which you've done before. And if you did not build the gem previously, you go ahead and still put in those 300 overalls and the 20 draft badges. Now when it comes to getting the extra shards for these guys, I believe the iconic elites are going to be for each, each of these shards, so the picks 2 through 5. Let me actually go to the players. So you're going to have these guys over here. These guys right here when you go in, like the Derek Stingley, the Aiden Hutchinson, these guys when you go in and rank them up, the extra shards are going to be two 300 overalls and 20 badges. Whereas I believe the regular like 465, so like the Drake London, and then maybe the 460s like the Garrett Wilson, those guys will just be two 300 overall. So basically just 20 less badges to rank those guys up, but I have not seen all of them. So don't quote me on that, but I know the iconic elite one is 100% correct. So there's that. Now, as for the store over here for the NFL draft picks, you guys will see you can do the step up offers for Javon Walker. So the only way to get number one pick, of course, the base 500 iconic elite is the pick uh, the pick offers right here so i believe it's 500 madden cash for the first one 2500 5000 and maybe like 6500 then this here is like guaranteed for 400 iconic coins but of course you have to go ahead and buy all the previous offers now there's that you can also go over here and if you don't want to just use your collectibles from the promo you could straight up buy the draft picks one shard for a certain amount of madden cash now I don't know how really good of a deal this is because you're getting um, for 9,000 Madden cast, one 300 overall, um, one 490 overall iconic elite, and 15 wild card badges. So I don't know exactly how good that is. Um, if you already have progress on the promo, you might as well go ahead and keep building them in the trades. It looks like here in the store you might be spending a lot more Madden cast than if you already have progress. So keep on building your trades. If you have absolutely nothing in terms of trades, 
I guess going through here and buying the players straight up would be a good idea, but I don't know exactly. So there's that, two, three, four, all the way through 10. These are all in the store, and as you get lower in overall, you guys will see how the Madden cash decreases. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for the new draft picks, the new rookies in the game. Um, I may have a video coming out later today going through my pickums, seeing which ones I got correct, and also claiming my free badges for those pickums. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.